When I heard of uh, Young Scientists Kenya, I could not have been more thrilled uh, because I think it enables you and generations who went before you and after you to go on that journey of cur curiosity, learning, self-development, but also creating real new steps forward. And then, and one impressive aspect of Young Scientists Kenya, it went, it's gone further than Young Scientists in Ireland in the sense you seem to do a lot more boot camps, mentoring and tutoring of students, which I think is fantastic. Um, Ireland became I, I modernized, I suppose one could say in the 1960s when we opened up education to every citizen, uh, when we developed free second level education and we joined the European Union. But education was the key to Ireland's growth and Ireland's development. Uh, and we place a very high importance on education and learning. And so to partner with Kenya in the field of education is something very close to our hearts, and particularly in the area of STEM. I spoke to the President this morning, and STEM was a big topic of our discussions. Uh, and we want to work with you even further in respect of STEM education, and particularly for young women and young girls. And I know some couldn't attend today, but I know you've been very successful in the, in the participation of girls in the Young, in, in the young Scientist um, project. So that's something that we want to work with you um, in, 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 into the future in, in terms of increased participation, increased numbers of schools. And I heard what you were saying earlier in terms of you, you would like more to come to Nairobi. Uh, and we'll see what we can do in terms of it, adding additional supports to facilitate more to come to Nairobi for the exhibition. Some of you in the future, and I would say to you, Think about setting up your own companies. You will not do it immediately, but you may work with some companies in the science area or engineering field. But think of your ideas and that you too someday could lead a company um, based on your intelligence, on your science and your entrepreneurial um, 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 flair. And it's interesting, in Ireland, the most well-known brothers who came out of the Young Scientists competition in Ireland was John and Patrick Collison uh, of the Stripe company and it's the largest payment company in the world now and they literally went from Young Scientists they more or less bypassed college I'm not recommending that you do that I'm saying you go to college and they set up this famous company and did extremely um, well such was their creativity and so on um, and it's important every project here had two people together I've been involved in research as a politician in different departments for a long time. Collaboration is key. Working together is key, sometimes in a team of five, a team of ten. The vaccination during COVID-19 came about because of worldwide collaboration. People online from all over the world combining their thoughts because this was an emergency in the world and it was through that collaboration that that vaccines were developed much faster than ordinarily would have been um, the case. So it's important that you as young scientists and involved um, not only focus on your own project but talk to other students about their projects and how you can collaborate um, and, and, and work together. And it's fantastic that in your young scientists uh, exhibition you're not, leaving any gen you're not leaving gender, you're not leaving geography, financial means or the digital divide disempower or disadvantage students. You are fully and truly inclusive, particularly with students with additional needs. So no learner is left behind in YSK. Uh, and that is fantastic and something we applaud and something that dovetails with Ireland's developmental cooperation program of helping those who are farthest behind in the world and, and working with those and leaving no one behind. Uh, and that is why we find this project one of the more fulfilling and fruitful projects um, that we are um, engaged um, with. I applaud each one of you for your passion, your interest, your creativity. It was wonderful to hear you talk to me about your projects. You knew them inside out. Um, you, uh, clearly, I couldn't admit to you that you were baffling me a bit in some of the presentations, but I was really straining to learn and, and to pick it up. But it really was uh, so rewarding to witness your enthusiasm. And I would urge you to continue with that enthusiasm, to continue with that hunger for learning, but above all, for your, your desire to solve problems. Because there are many different types of people in the world. There are people out there who create problems. There are people out there who exploit problems. But I prefer people who try and solve 
problems and come forward with solutions.